Hello friends, today I want to show how we can uh, run the IFC to Codaster examples uh, using uh, Windows. So, as I said in my previous video, there is no official version of uh, Salome Mecca and Codaster for Windows, but there is an official version that you can download from this uh, website, codasterwindows.com and uh, it has some problems sometimes with the user experience but i think that uh, it can help uh, let's say break the barriers and uh, uh, help us use this uh, great open source tool in windows so you can download it download it from here and then we can go in github that's going to follow the same procedure as the other time, so I can show to you how you can download the data. Okay, I see to Codaster. From this repository, you can click here and download the, the zip, and I have uh, already done that. So I have uh, the folder with the files, and now I'm just going to start Salomeca. You have to come when you extract, uh, you download the extract Salomeca, then you just click uh, here. And we start, there is, uh, you don't need uh, to install really anything, it's just an extraction. Okay. So I'm going to use uh, the same example like the previous time, but uh, this time I'm going to do something extra because one of our friends asked us how we can also include in the output results the axial bending and the shear forces and we're just going to show exactly how to do this so we're going to click here we're going to ask that we add the states from the file we're going to our file okay the example is always the portal example so this is the command file with all the commands and here we can see that there are these red files that uh, tell you that there are some file associations missing. You can just click, double click here, or better enough, I will click here. Okay, so it is about a mess. So we have to give him a mess file. And this is exactly the file.med that we have in the folder. And now we can see our structure. Nice. Then let's see what else is missing. So this is the output results. He wants to know in what file he will save the results. Again, we're going to click here and uh, we're just going to use result 2. This existing is the existing result file that is uh, in the folder. Okay. And like this, uh, we should be ready to run the analysis. Now we want to add the extra fields. So let's see how we can do that. After we do the mecha static, that is the static analysis, we have to tell him to extract some extra fields. So we have to go to post processing, calc jump, it means calculate field. And uh, these fields are the constraint fields. FJ stands for the generalized forces, so we're interested in FJ. And uh, we're going to select NOEU, which uh, uh, will also do an averaging in each node between uh, all the neighboring elements. In the case that here we had just a unique node between this the beam and the column this uh, result would uh, not be correct there but in the way that we have uh, created the models in ifc to codaster we have uh, duplicate nodes so this will be just fine then we're going okay i'm sorry another thing that we have to tell him is to reuse the same input object so as soon as i click here we just tell him to enrich the, the field so this becomes the same variable as above so that uh, we have in the same result all these extra fields then we just go to the output results and 
we want to add an extra result okay so we, don't, we have the displacement the two and then we're going to add the auto as we used uh, before and then for consistency i'm also giving him a name this is not uh, mandatory but uh, since i had it already like this i'm just going to tell him that this is the result i'm going to see in uh, part of this generalized forces okay so like this we should be ready and now we can just save We can just save the results. We have to go to desktop, examples, portal, save. And uh, now we can just go and run the result. Run. Okay, sometimes you have to click here because if you just wait, maybe you think that this is continue running because sometimes it doesn't stop uh, automatically. You just maybe have to click and you see that it's already done the analysis okay everything is green very good and we can go to part of this and we open what desktop okay and we're going to see that there is an arm made file very good and now we have these two results we don't have we have the displacements and we have the generalized forces going to click here generate vectors so that we can see also the deformed shape okay just click here so i can rotate it and this will be what i like and uh, i'm going to warp by vector so i can see the deformed shape and put this more or less in the middle now that we have two fields we have to make sure that here is the displacement vector so that we have uh, the correct deform shape. And this is the deform shape. And this is uh, as it was, as we already saw. And uh, here we have the generalized forces. So what we have here, we have an axial force in the beam and in the columns. And you can see that the axial force has a different value for its uh, the column and the beam so that's what was i was saying because here there are duplicate nodes otherwise you would see an average value that would not be correct and we have also cr force out of plane that is zero cr force in plane we have uh, uh, torsion yes and uh, we have the moment in plane and the moment of plane okay so i think that uh, with this we should be good to go i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and if you have any specific uh, uh, questions you want to ask something specific you want to see don't hesitate to do so and we'll see what will be the next video. Thank you. Bye.